Hello, welcome back to BS Life. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at how to create uh, the matrix stock room um, using Blender. Um, it's basically we're gonna need to create a lot of shelves and we're gonna put a lot of objects there. We're not gonna be using guns because I don't like guns, but we're gonna be using toilet papers and lots of toilet papers we're gonna create. So the setup is looking something like this. Uh, it's pretty simple, um, but this is pretty efficient. Um, so here yeah, and we got a lot of toilet paper there. Um, I'm gonna show you how we can create this. Okay, so from scratch. So the technique that we will be using is actually um, collections instance. So I haven't used this. I only found out uh, the other day. So if you actually create like a collections, you can actually create instance very, very easily. You just shift A and then down there you can see collections instance and you get collections. So this is actually collections, uh, the one that's highlighted with different color of brown. And this is using that guy over there. So you can rename it, call it like a box. And so you have seen collections, you have this collections, instance collections, and you can make duplicates. And this guy is actually very, very efficient. So if we have like millions of this, it's gonna be super efficient and we can make changes to one of them and everything is gonna update. So um, first of all, we need to have a single toilet paper. So file, import, gltf, download. So we, well, we should have toilet paper. Simple toilet paper. This is from Sketchfab. Okay, it's only five kilobytes. File, save as. Matrix toilet paper. So basically, this is a uh, this is actually a classic problem, uh, and. Let's see, let's name this first TP. So delete everything. Before we create anything, we're gonna need to create the, the container or like a stack, the furniture first. So I'll, I'm gonna be using cube, just a very basic cube. And I'm actually gonna triangulate this. Triangle and then wireframe and make it thicker. So this is gonna where a place that we're gonna put toilet paper into, and we probably just need to get rid of the face, the back, and the front. Now we have a place to put our toilet paper and. With this guy, we just first create some kind of array. So, depends how many you want. Maybe array of six, and then make another array. And this one goes up in the Z. So that's, a, that's pretty good kind of racks. For our thing and you can assign a material and then now we need some kind of plane and so I just extrude it and then solidify well actually just uh, extrude it up. Okay, just use another array going up. So that should be our rack. And then 
we need our toilet paper to go inside and then we're gonna stack them so maybe yeah I can just make like something like that just randomize the position slightly and then rotate in the Z axis to add more randomizations and make a bunch of them Get it. and of course you can actually make instance for this if you need so each one of them doesn't need to be like a, a single object each one of them can be like an instance and that's gonna be more efficient for now I'm just gonna do it like this so that's uh, should be okay right okay so we get this TP matrix so there we need the one that's actually an instance so I think we can just load it from here shift a TP matrix on so we have our thing I can hide the original so with this matrix one, you can make duplicates and for this one, I actually gonna be using Spatchup, okay, because I want to use dupli, dupli face. So I will be using plane in Spatchup to create duplicate instance. So this is plane and then we have the uh, another plane for duplicates so and create just merge it into one object and then with this guy simply parent it into this guy and then while selecting these objects we can instance using vertices or face scale by Face. Okay, so that's uh, that's basically the plan. Let's see how it's uh, working for us. Yeah, I think so far so good. The we got an extra object there. Okay, so that's the original. We can hide the original turn off the instancer and we are good to go okay so now all we need to do is just to create as many as we want so we have this matrix of toilet paper racks just the matrix uh, just like the matrix scene maybe we need this to be taller let's see Maybe that's 16 and this one is 6. If this is uh, need to be taller, we just need to update it with our thing. So with our Q, simply increase the array. And of course the toilet paper. Because this is like collection, we can easily turn in, turn off, on and off this guy. So I'm just gonna do it very, very quickly and roughly. Hopefully, it updates itself. Okay, um, there's a slight error there. There we go.
maybe we can have a bit more up here anyway so that's actually pretty much it it's done uh, and we just can simply export it out if you want this as AR maybe put a Neo and Trinity in the middle but this is basically the setup and if you ever want to animate it uh, you can you can do that it's pretty easy using uh, well you can use animation nodes for that or also spare chalk you simply kind of offset the position um, what else let's see I save this and then I think I have the one that's already with animation somewhere so this one has this add let's see if I have the final one from yesterday toilet paper matrix okay this one already have animations the setup is simple like I say you have the original plane just a face and then you have this matrix of transformations and the driver in my case is a frame frame number and we have this guys kind of traveling and then traveling into place this can be better and tidier I got lifts list shuffle number range uh, so basically frame is being offset by a bunch of numbers and then I'm using map range and clamping to make this guy go from 0 to 1 which is the move so there's a night so minus 90 unit it's gonna move and there's the, the strength is being controlled by this value coming in and that's offsetting the position of the plane okay so yeah that's basically how we create the, this uh, matrix scenes for a lot of toilet papers you have unlimited toilet papers so you don't need to worry or no need to panic so there you go hopefully you find this interesting let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye